Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, so welcome to our assembly. It's the last of our assemblies this week about inspirational people. So just like we've done with the other assemblies this week, have a think if you can remember who our inspirational people were. See if you can tell somebody that you're watching with. Okay, so you should have remembered that we've had Alan Turing, David Bowie, Amelia Earhart, and Rudolf Nureyev. So we've got those four people. Now our fifth person this time, instead of a mathematician or an adventurer or a dancer, is an artist. We're going to talk about Georgia O'Keeffe, who is an amazing artist and did some really different stuff. So we're going to have a read of her life story. And we're going to be using the Little People Big Dreams book, like we have been doing all this week. And we're going to have a look at Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork. So, Little Georgia grew up with six brothers and sisters on a farm near Sun Prairie in Wisconsin, which is in America. But while they played games, Georgia preferred to look at the world around her. At school, Georgia was always more inspired by the colours she saw through the classroom window than the numbers written on the blackboard. And when Georgia was 12, she told her mother she wanted to become an artist. She started lessons, and her drawings soon became the most impressive in the whole class. Georgia moved to Chicago and then New York to keep studying art, but everyone in the city was busy. They didn't have time to notice beauty in little things around them. Little things like a flower. So she decided to paint that tiny flower by putting her nose very, very close to it. And suddenly the littlest flower became the most enormous painting. No one could ignore its beauty. I wonder if you've ever tried that. I wonder if you've actually had a look around you at something really, really close to. Now there's two things that you can do with that. One is that you could have a look at something really close to and you could get your nose right up to a flower and see it like you're really zoomed in. Or the other one that you could do is you could look at a room from a different perspective because I bet if you're sitting on the sofa or you're sitting at the dining table or sitting at a desk, that's where you always sit in that room. But why not lie on the floor somewhere different in that room and see what it looks like? Pick a space that you never normally see the room from and put yourself in that space to see it from a different perspective. It looks really different. And that's kind of what Georgia O'Keeffe did. She saw things from a different way. Let's read the rest of the story. A famous photographer called Alfred saw Georgia's paintings and wanted to share her work with the world. He put together an exhibition of her art. George's paintings left the public wide-eyed in amazement. They couldn't work out what they were looking at. But Alfred understood her paintings, and he was an artist too. And soon they realised they were made for each other and got married. Inspired by New York, Georgia decided to paint towering skyscrapers as only a child would have painted them. For her, the city was made up of enormous squares. And when summer came, Georgia visited New Mexico. She immediately fell in love with the desert. She painted crosses, sand dunes, and even the skulls of dead animals. They were all fascinating to her. She loved every stone, every bone, and every colour of the lonely desert. She painted every day for years in a house nestled between red hills. Nothing was too small or too ordinary for her. Through her art, Georgia flew all around the world to different museums. They called her the mother of American modernism. And today you can see how the ordinary becomes extraordinary when you take the time to look at it, as little Georgia did. So there we go, we've got Georgia in 1903 and right the way through to the end of her life in 1962. So some fantastic artwork. So what we're going to do now is actually have a look at some of the pictures that Georgia O'Keeffe did and we'll see if we can see those. So. Here we go, we've got a zoomed up picture, really, really close view of a flower. We've got a calla lily, and a calla is a beautiful uh, flower. You often get them in uh, vases, in flower arrangements, and this one is really, really lovely, but very, very different when you see it up close. I wonder if you can guess what type of flower this is. And that's right, it's a poppy, or two poppies in fact. And you can see the black centre of the poppies there and the petals around the outside. 
and it, when you know it looks like a poppy, when you know it's a poppy, then it's easy to see it, but without knowing it, it's very, very different. Now, this is from Georgia O'Keeffe's work in New York, and you can see the skyscrapers. She's got the big buildings there, and then you've uh, contrast with the white building in the background. And this is one of the crosses that we mentioned in the story. But again, it's very, very close up, and you can see how the horizontal line here matches the horizon. And you've got the sun setting in the background, and then you've got that change in colours with the red and the uh, yellow there to the light blue of the sky here. A lovely contrast again. And a final one is from the far away a piece with an animal skull, which is very fantastical. So the animal skull wouldn't have actually looked like that, but. Georgia O'Keeffe has used her imagination to change it so it's got antlers in different ways. Okay. So there you go, guys. That was our assembly for today. So we've heard about uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, who did things really, really differently. She uh, saw things in a different way. So just like we've had challenges and things for you to do in uh, other assemblies, I'm going to see if I can give you something to do today. Okay. I want you to, just like I said, see if you can um see something from a different angle so you might want to get yourself right up close to it so you're seeing it in a different way or you might want to um, put yourself in a different place in the room but what i'd like you to do if you've got the time is i'd like you to see if you can do a picture make a picture uh, draw something from that unusual angle and see if you can take a photo of it and see if we can see it on our facebook page so we can all see it we'd really like to see that that would be great Okay, I will see you for an assembly on Monday. Bye-bye.